you is about cross product basics of cross product actually so cross product is also called as vector product because the outcome of this type of product is a vector quantity a cross b when vector a is uh, taking cross product with vector b then the outcome will be a vector like let's say vector a cross b has two components one is the magnitude which is a b sin theta a is the magnitude of vector a b is the magnitude of vector b and theta is the angle between them but as the quantity is vector you have to add a unit vector and what is the special thing about this n cap n cap is a unit vector which is perpendicular to the plane perpendicular to both a and b both we can also say it is perpendicular to the plane of a and b plane of a and b for example if a and b are in this plane plane of paper then a cross b will be perpendicular to this plane let's talk about its direction the direction of cross product is perpendicular to the plane containing a and b a is called the first vector and b is called the second vector whenever you have to cross some uh, let's say uh, d cross e so d will be the first vector and e will be the second vector so for we have to move from a to b in by the shorter path obviously so just look at my hand this is vector a and this is vector b so when we move vector a towards vector b the thumb will be in the downward direction and a cross b will be in the downward direction or into the plane of paper into the plane of paper i will be making a separate video for the direction of cross product only so look that video also this video will be dealing that much only so a cross b is perpendicular to the plane containing a and b or perpendicular to both a as well as b so how we take the cross product we can say a cross a few important things about cross product a cross a will be zero or null vector because theta will be zero between vector a and vector a and sin theta is zero so as a cross a is zero we can say i cross i j cross j and k cross k will also be zero and what about this i cross j so we have to make a rule i j k uh, in this cyclic order so if we move along the arrows i cross j the arrow is from i to j so i cross j will be positive k j cross k will be positive i and k cross i will be positive j as i cross j will be a vector which is perpendicular to both then the only option left is k cap and also the magnitude of i cap and j cap is 1 so obviously the coefficient will be 1 similarly we can explain the other two but if we go against the arrows j cross i then it will be minus k j cross i will be minus a k cross j again against the arrow minus i and i cross k is again minus j so we can say a cross b is nothing but negative of b cross a because the magnitude will be same but they will be opposite in direction so let's calculate some cross products let's start with very simple examples first one is 4i cross 3j so these are the values we take them side 4 into 3 is 12 and i cross j is left as vectors so i cross j is k cap so 12 k cap what about minus 3j into 2i again the coefficient which is minus 6 j cross i is left and j cross i is itself minus k 
both the minus will cancel and we are getting 6 k gap let's find cross product of some complex vectors like a b c all have three components all three components i j k and we have to find a cross b so the method is uh, slight tricky just listen to me we have to solve it by determinant method i j k and first of all write the coefficients of or the components of first vector which is a so 1 minus 2 and 3 then the coefficient of the second vector which is 2 1 and minus 1 take the cross product so what you will do i and the remaining rows as the row i has been taken remaining are this so we will take minus 2 into minus 1 the order will be like this then this so minus 2 into minus 1 minus sign in between and 1 into 3 bracket close then for the second for the second time for j this thing will be covered and we are left with only this and this so we take their cross product this and this okay so i made a quite messy diagram here okay just pay attention this 1 into minus 1 then a negative sign then 2 into 3 again okay. yeah we have added a negative with j third is k cap and this row will be occupied we are left with 1 into 1 close and negative sign 2 into minus 2 and just solve these so in this case we are getting uh, plus 2 and minus 3 which is minus 1 i then minus 1 minus 6 minus 7 plus 7 j and 1 and this is plus 4 so it will be 5 k cap so let's do one more example let's say b cross c so again i j and k nothing and as the b is the first vector now 2 1 and minus 1 c is the second vector minus 2 2 and 5 again i the vertical and horizontal rows are occupied we are left with 1 5 and 2 minus 1 so 1 into 5 the order is from left to right downwards and then from right to from left to right again upward then 2 into minus 1 bracket close an additional minus sign with j then 2 into 5 minus minus 2 into minus 1 then k cap we are left with 2 into 2 minus sign minus 2 into 1 plus 1 so we can get 5 and this will be 2 7 i this will be 10 and this will be minus 2 8 minus 8 j and we are getting 4 and this will be plus 2 6 k cap I hope do a lot of practice and be very very cautious while solving cross product because there's a very huge chances of making mistakes in cross products as it involves a lot lot of calculations.